Cancer, welcome to your April general forecast. Let's take a look. It's going to be coming your way this month. Hmm. Well, Cancer looks like um, it's going to be a little bit uh, rough month for you. And I feel like you will start uh, crunching some numbers, you know. Um, I feel like you will also be uh, having some difficult with it, uh, sorry, discipline when it comes to your finances. Um. It seems like there is also, uh, you know, a lesson to learn this month for you. Anyway, we'll take a look at that later on after doing all this spread. I'll be pulling out more clarification cards. So, you know. Looks like you will also be, um, some singles will be playing fire with uh, uh, a fire or a water sign. And some married uh, cancers will also, um, will also try to, you know, to revive their sex life with somebody. Oops, okay. Four pipes. It looks like you're going to be rebuilding your, you know, your, um, your health and your immune system. But it's the depression that will be killing you. Your anxiety that's, uh, you know, that will be um, getting out of control. And it's like you will be panicking as well. And your be your stress level will be going up high. You know, some people when they are when they are too stressed out, they can have a, like a very blurry vision, and uh, well, temporarily, you know, have some eye problems. Okay, let's take a look at that. Okay. Um, okay, Cancer, there's like um, you'll be making some plans and you'll be making some more changes with regards to your finances and lifestyle this month. And I feel like you're already having some, you know, some thoughts about balancing what should not and what should go forth and what shouldn't, you know, be held back for a little while. 
And I also feel like that there will be some bad news that you'll be getting or that you will be receiving. And there are some, you know, there are three things or three opportunities, three people or three, you know, uh, yeah, well, three things altogether that you will be um, missing out. And, you know, the, um, and there is also s somebody who is an earth sign around you right now who's been, um, it's like you're trying to balance everything okay your finances and then this person your time for your work and then time for this person or you know your attention to your work and then your attention to this person both of you are very hard working but it seems like uh, both of you have two different agendas okay and this month there will be three news that will be coming your way which is not really you know uh, pleasant for you to hear now, I, you know, um, as much as I want to deliver some good news to you, but you have to understand that sometimes life is not always, you know, up there, and it's always not full of rainbows and candies, but you just need to be prepared with whatever life will be sending your way so that you will, you will grow and you will get stronger. So I'm not a Debbie Downer, okay? I'm not putting everyone down or just to ruin your month. But I just want you to be prepared for what's going to happen and for what's going to be coming your way. You just need to grow up, okay? You just need to understand that life is not always going to be like sunny days and happy days. Which is more likely 80% of life is all, always about miseries and the grievances. But, you know, of all the good months that has already, you know, um, been given to you and has been good to you, I feel like this is the month that you, where you have to deal with some family members that you will be cutting off losing or that you will be moving away from or that you have to sacrifice altogether. I don't feel like financially you will be struggling, okay? Which is, that's the good news. Your work will become even more hectic and will become even more packed and busy. But it's your family members that you will be that you will have to deal with. Either it's your offspring, your your parents or your siblings, relatives or something like that, or the one that you're actually with. You know, these are the people that you will have to deal with. And I'm seeing that there will be a lot of dramas and this is gonna be a month of days of our lives for you. Okay. Now you will also be receiving some news about a house move or getting approved for a housing loan or getting approved for a lo for a house that you want to lease or getting approved for it because of your good credit score. Now, the thing here is I also feel like you want to move and you're already having a hard time dealing with this person from the past, which you don't even know if they're still going to come or not or if they are, you know, or if they are still going to be coming around to you. Or if they are still going to be like, you know, like uh, fulfilling their promise. Or it's just like blah altogether. Okay. Now you've tried to believe this person's promise in the past. And now, you know, it's starting all, it's starting all over again. And you just want to hide from everyone. It's like you're too bruised. You're too wounded. And you're too disappointed right now. That you just don't have that much tolerance to deal with anyone's you know dramas and uh well, miseries and hang-ups in their lives and you just want to concentrate more in your own healing and um you just need to you know to balance things out and so is your lifestyle especially if you're single now oh this earth sign that is you know that is in your life right now or that, uh, that you're kind of uh, waiting to come around whether it's uh, mentally emotionally or physically or virtually um i feel like there is like a you just need to change the way you approach them and that's the that's the time that they will be coming around you because i feel like they're very conservative strict and conventional and old-fashioned okay and how you're treating th with a uh, sorry, and how you're treating them or how you're dealing with them is kind of um, a little bit offensive to them. Now, when it comes to your work, as I've said, that I don't see any struggling when it comes to your finances, which is you know this is the good news. Um, in fact, that there will be a victory and there is an unexpected money coming your way, to which, which will be offered by somebody that you was that you used to work with or that you're that that you used to work for 
and you will have more financial stability now you will also be dealing with somebody who is a water or earth sign around your life and i feel like you will try to start a business with this person or with this people and uh, and you will try to move away once you already have enough funds and resources because you really want to be independent and you want to stand on your own. I feel like you're already tired of being an employee or you're tired of, of working for somebody. And you're just plainly tired of all the things that's been going on in your life right now. But the good thing here is your finances will start, you know, will keep on growing and will start getting even more solid. It's just that I feel like the, uh, you know, the things that you need to go through are your own relatives. Or the people that are, you know, directly connected to you. I feel like they are the one that you should be, you know, like, um, breathe a little bit from. Anyway, let's take a look at your love life. Well, there is a brand new beginning that right before it starts it has already ended and there's only a lesson to learn for those singles who just met somebody i don't feel like it's going to be pushing through because you know this person is more of a trickster and they're only after something from you not really for a serious relationship whereas you're already looking for something serious more this time now there is still somebody from the past who is acting like a stubborn air sign and you're still thinking much more about this and you still have an overflowing feelings you know that you feel like you're so disappointed with when will this person come ever or when will they ever you know ever be um around you or when will they ever come there will be some communications that will be coming to you and i feel like this person will be finally opening up their feelings coming from a long long way and it seems like they've gone from a very like difficult and grave situation and hmm. I feel like you'll be offering help to this person financially well since that you're already able to you know um, I feel like this applies only to singles and um, hmm. and just be careful not to be uh, you know the sugar mama for this because I, I mean even if you're able to help out financially don't let this person you know, take advantage of you and definitely you're expecting that this person would be with you and uh, you know I feel like it's really meant to happen finally this person is coming around you uh, there's also a possibility of um, a marriage and engagement, okay? Or a long-term relationship. And now... When it comes to your sex life, it looks like you're going to get entangled with somebody who's just like... A, a little bit perverted you know and i feel like you are going to try to be a little bit experimental as well but you know if, especially if you're already of age it will be a problem to you now for those who's already married you will try to revive your sex life you'll try to revive your relationship together by making it a little bit better when it comes to bed but mm, mm, the, the game of the other person is kind of a little different from what you've imagined or from what you were thinking although you're going to be enjoying it a little bit but then you will get tired of it as i feel like you are the one who needs to work out more or who needs to be on top mo most of the time and you know, even though you're a doer sometimes you know uh, sometimes you want to be pleased as well Now, huh? Now I, feel, I also feel like you're gonna have a lot of good, mm, good times this this month, especially. 
Mm. I feel like your love life will be very active. And a bit of a role playing. Uh, breaking the, uh, you know, the convention. Breaking the conventional habit and the, uh, you know, the, uh, the style of, um, love making. But, in the end, I feel like you'll be walking away from this person because you know to yourself that this is not somebody that you can settle down with. Or this is not the one that you really want to be with altogether. Now, when it comes to your house, it seems like you will be rebuilding your, you know, your, your health regime. And you will also be um, opting for some new methods like uh, dieting, cleansing, detoxifying. Depression and stress levels will be very, very high this month as you have to deal with some, you know, problems in your family, problems at work, and problems with a person that you really want to be with. I feel like you also want to take some time off, travel, and go on a vacation. You will also have some problems with your eyesight being too sensitive on, you know, during the daytime or during, the, uh, or during when it's uh, too hot outside. And I feel like there you have an underlying medical condition that, you know, you don't want to follow the, uh, the doctor's orders. But right before you experiment your own medicine or your own medications, try asking around. Okay, try asking for some verifications, experiences, consequences, you know, and stuff like that right before you uh, do some stuff. Okay or do such a thing or decision but in overall i feel like you are slowly healing and you will slowly recover now let's take a look at your oracle card stand of abundance heaven has provided so many blessings your family members are bonded and working together the children are provided for and a comfortable retirement will one day come along you've taught your family the grace that comes from knowing right from wrong and you should be very proud Eight of action, there's so much going on right now that it may feel overwhelming to you. See, I told you. And yet, it's wonderful to be so busy with the work that you love. Express gratitude for the blessings of heaven that are taking up your time. Even if life feels challenging, if you're asked to travel and take a flight, then do so with confidence. I feel like it has something to do with this, with your son or with your child, you know. That you have to deal with your own condition. Ace of Thought, this cheer up has arrived to congratulate you for your brilliant new idea, which is truly inspired. It's important to communicate clearly and thoroughly with others who are involved in the implementation of your idea. Don't be dissuaded by little challenges along the way. These are merely course corrections to perfect your plan. So don't lose hope. Have some more faith and be strong. Okay? When life seems to be so down and when life seems to be so dark, you know, at this point, it's not going to be permanent. Expect that there are some storms that comes into your lives to make us grow, teach us some lessons to become even more, you know, smarter and intelligent and for us to be a brand new person right after that. Okay? So don't be afraid with whatever that's going to come into your life. Just be prepared. Anyway, that's it for you for this month, Cancer. If you want to talk to me live on the phone or live with the calls, just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net. Blessings to you.